Baptist as well. You've come to the channel that's just here for Jesus Christ and end times and bringing, bringing you the latest news. But it's about the advancement of the kingdom of God. That's what we're here for. And why we're looking at the news is because it's happening so close every day, more and more and more and more reflection on the end time of prophecy being fulfilled. So let's take a look at some of the news. Ahead of Jewish holidays, Netanyahu asked to form Israel's next government, 9-27-19. We'll read the article, but we won't. Uh, Israel, Iran, face off UN, UN while the US boosts its military presence in the Gulf. Plus, Israel PM Netanyahu asked to form government. Will will he succeed? So we, we sort of have this thing about um, Netanyahu. He's been around a long time, hasn't he? And he's seen Israel through a lot. But is he the man that God chooses? So that's the whole thing. But let's have a look at this video. This week on Jerusalem Dateline, Israel and Iran face off at the United Nations while the U.S. boosts its military presence in the Gulf. Plus, Israel takes the next step in forming a new government. Mm -hmm. But can Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu succeed? And the sound of the shofar. We need a lot of reminders in our daily life to repent, to think of the things of God. Israel gets ready for the Jewish New Year. All this and more this week on Jerusalem Dateline. Okay, so we, we won't play the full article, but that, that's it. You can see it was an interesting word, repent, wasn't it? You know, because salvation is brought through repentance, isn't it? If we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead and repent of our sins, therefore thereafter. So let's forward on. Now, we've probably all heard of this one now. It's 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 broad news. Terrorist stabs policewoman uh, protecting Jews and Christians on the Temple Mount. Well, now it's becoming a war. The Temple Mount is becoming a war in itself, a war within a war. And again, it's prophecy being fulfilled in the sense that um, there are it's all brought together in the end time. There is 40, uh, 54 prophecies being fulfilled since 1948. Um, over 300 prophecies have been fulfilled in the Bible. So far, we're not going to miss out on the last ones. The last ones will be in the next few years or coming seven years. We're not sure. But it's it's horrific that someone got stabbed. She only got stabbed in the arm. A police one was stabbed by an Arab terrorist on the Temple Mount on Thursday. The officer was stabbed in her arm and suffered mild injuries, which was... Um, not very good. There is a bit of a video down here, but it doesn't show the police. <laughs> so it's uh, world at war. World at war. And there's a reason it's war, because we're in the end times. I know people have been walking around for, in my lifetime, 30 years with billboards saying the end is nigh. Well, Looking back, you, you you could guess that, you know, because there's lots of prophecy being fulfilled even back 30 years. But now we're, we're, we're completion. There's completion of prophecy now, except for Revelation, which is the last book of the Bible, for those of you who don't know. And it's all here. But uh, in front of UN, Abbas threatens holy war against Israel. It's there's a lot of threats, a lot of saber rattling at the moment, but I I know it will come. It'll come. After thanking UN bots for blindly siding with Palestinians, PA Chairman Ab Abu, Masa Abu Mazen took the podium and warned that Israel is denying worshippers access to the holy places, saying, I caution against these policies, the reckless measures which will lead to dangerous consequences, the result will be a religious war. Now, I talk about wars because not many wars these days are religious wars. They're actually financial, have a financial backdrop. But we're now heading for religious wars, full-on religious wars. Um, by the way, I'm not religious. 
I just believe in the Most High God and His Son, Jesus Christ, and I live by the Holy Spirit. No frills and frollies, just the truth. And the truth will set you free. Well, here we are into the um, change, climate change now, which we, it's no secret climate change. And nobody's owning up to it. Nobody's owning up to it. And at the end of this video, I've got a, a, a thing to show that, that it's just a dorrent um, ignorance that, that people are, the governments and, and, and the likes are taking no notice of climate change. They're making these sanctions and changes. But on to climate change and the next hurricane, which is Lorenzo, becomes second category four hurricane of season over open waters in the Atlantic. It won't show this. But Hurricane Lorenzo continued to rapidly strengthen over the open Atlantic Thursday morning, reaching Category 4 status and becoming the third major hurricane of the 2019 Atlantic season. Um, we've had everything shown as... If we could, I haven't got the graphs up, but the natural disasters, graphs, um, deaths, um, extinctions... Uh, are growing rapidly since 2015, actually. Um, 2016, 17, 18, 19. The graphs go well out of scale. That uh, This is coming to a conclusion. This is coming to a finale, is what I can say. And you don't have to be saved, born again, or religious to see that. But what you do need to see is how to get out of that, which we'll go into shortly. And... Climate change, no matter what people say and do, we're not getting any answers. I stream through um, so-called suggestions and the, the latest thing that I just fell over laughing in tears was um, Bill Gates wanted to uh, put chalk, a chalk substance into the sky and dump billions of tonnes with it into the sky at his own finance, apparently. Well, that's laughable. You know, we can't interfere with nature, we can only live in a way that agrees with nature. It's a fine balance built by a great God, and we're upsetting it. But climate change, Montreal sees hundreds of thousands strike, hundreds of thousands of people march to Montreal to protest against climate change, joined by activist Greta Thunberg and the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. But let's have a look at this. We can't uh, we can't protest enough. Nobody's listening, um, or small minorities are listening. We're still going to war. We're still going to do the things. And as I say, I'll show you something in a minute. That um, you know, a jumbo jet. Correct me if I'm wrong, pilots out there, but a jumbo jet uses something like 140 tons of fuel to fly from the UK to Hong Kong. That's 140 tons spewed out. If you look at flightradar247.com, you get all the flights in the world today, real live program, and you want to see them. They're all belching out tons, not to mention the motorways are belching out tons of fossil fuels. It is, it's not hard to go back and, and, and look at fossil fuels source, the source of fossil fuels. It's not hard to track, is it? We say, oh, this, that, that, that. I mean... It's, they're now saying that um, cows, methane, gas, um, but nobody gives us an answer. God has an answer, and it's coming soon. Now, this is heartbreaking, to be honest with you. Our hearts are shattered. Norway takes permanent custody of three American children from Christian parents. Now, there is a something behind this, I mean, but the parents were absolutely innocent, but I can't help wondering about the consequences. And I could read all this, to be honest with you, and I could play the sub story video. And it's not a sub story. It's this a... is Brigitte Alevichuit, the daughter of Natalia Shatakova and Zhigens Alexandrovich. Today I am recording this video to any president. I want to 
explain what happens and why. Norway, I live here. It's it's pretty cool. It's beautiful. Now, what happened here is the 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 young girl on the video her iPhone was taken off of by her parents or words to that effect for some reason, and she made up a story in school, which kids do. I don't blame her. Kids do this. But then the um, authorities are so strict over there, they took the whole family off them. They took the three children off them. She was compl She was making up a story of abuse. We don't know the whole story, but and I don't want to. What I'm looking at is the ability for governments without any real concern to take. And the Norway's infamous child welfare agency, uh, infamous, Barn Barnavenet, Barnavenet has taken permanent custody of three... Now the court that they they went to a court to um, appeal against this, but it was the Barnavetic court. Court. So now they're going to another court, but just as easy as that, the um, children could be. I mean, you can see these are healthy children. You know, I, it doesn't look like an abusive father or mother, does it? I mean, abuse comes in all forms, but the child made a statement which he has now denied um, completely and said it was just a stab back at the. You know, as kids do. But the thing is. You know, talking about how the enemy strikes, he's he's totally destroyed the family uh, by making the Barna Bennett uh, deal with it the way they did. Uh, it's just the way societies come together in this end, and we say, oh, it's not Satan. Everything bad is Satan. There's nothing good to come out of Satan in this planet. He'll make promises and take it all away. But how can they take this happy family? And then she's calling out the presidents. Well, we've just watched a video where thousands upon, uh, hundreds of thousands of people are calling out the presidents. Presidents can't do anything. They don't seem to be capable of dealing with climate change because um, it, it's not. It's common to see that they need the money. You know, if we were to remove all the cattle from the earth, we'd starve right now. We haven't got an alternative. We're facing end times. We're facing end times out there, and they're coming fast, furious. It is about to come. But this, it's it's heart wrenching, really. I can't imagine losing. I'm a father. And I can't imagine losing my children um, over that. But uh, going to climate change, we'll have a look at this last one. We're talking to climate change and we... This this is not an alien spacecraft, by the way. I can see... I, I'm no um, rocket specialist or rocket science, but I can see that this isn't alien. This is a rocket launch. But it's a mysterious launch... Looks like alien worlds, and it does look like a alien world, but uh, we'll have a look at it. But it's, you can see they, after after the boosters going off and falling away, but we're launching thousands of tons of fuel into our atmosphere. This is what we're doing to our atmosphere. And if you, if you you're not used to what the government's doing, look up the Harp project on YouTube, because that is where. They sourced enough fuel to power America for three years to to um, electrically push out the ozone layer, layer for missile attack in the day, going back a bit, in the 80s, I think. So that we're, we're, we've been abusing our world for a long time, but not the people. We're good enough at abusing ourselves. It's the governments and the wealthy that's been abusing the planet, the greed for oil. You know, it's, 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 I don't need to say, but watch this. We can see what it is. It was very interesting. It's a mysterious launch by James Munder is the, is the guy that put this up on YouTube. Could be alien to start with. But I'd suggest it's a missile. It's, oh no, sorry. I'd suggest it's an outer space object being sent to outer space. Because there's the blowing off the um, I don't know what they call the tanks, the booster tanks. Resistance 
all that separation of fire, all that into our atmosphere without a blind care. What the hell? That's some flesh, that's debris coming down. It's a high orbital trajectile being sent, I'd suggest, by humans, not by aliens this way. What is that? That's like the, the SpaceX thing, but it's going up vertical. But the purpose of that was just to bring home the fact that we just don't care about the climate. We'll go on and on and on and on, just destroying it without any consequences. We won't even think about it. Not we, our governments, our warmongers, the people that want land that isn't theirs, the people that want money. <laughs> There'd be no reason, I've got to say out loud, if the wealthy men in the world, the wealthy people in the world, spent their money on healthcare, there'd be no one ill in the world and there's certainly be no one poor unless god made it that way but anyway brothers and sisters i'll get this out edited and out to you shortly and all i can say is may god bless you and keep you make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you this day god bless <laughs>